we're going to be making homemade chapatis and this recipe we've got today we're going to be adding carrots and we've got some onion in the recipe so it's a way of adding some extra vegetables and some extra fibre to the recipe. Um, we're going to start by we're going to start by grating the carrots and then we'll be grating the onions. The recipe asks for about 100 grams of carrots, so in this case we're using three medium carrots. Then we'll grate the onion. Okay, so we have grated the onion and the carrot. Going to see if we can squeeze squeeze them and extract any juice. I don't think there is very much from this this one. So if there was, we would add the ju we would add the carrot juice into the, the mixture to, instead of water to give it a little bit more moisture. So we'll. Now, just sieve the flour. It's not absolutely essential to sieve the flour, but it's a good thing to do. And it's, we're using wholemeal flour today. It's important to make sure that the, what's left at the end of the, from the sieve is often the, the good fib fibre, so it's important to make sure that's added as well. So we'll just sieve as much as, of the flour as we can, and then we'll just add the, all the coarse whole grain at the end. Add that in. And for this recipe, we're just going to use a very small amount of salt. For the food chain, we don't normally use very much salt at all. We're just going to use a pinch. add the salt in and we're going to add the vegetables into the mixture as well. And then we're also going to add, add a little bit of rapeseed oil. We use rapeseed oil which is a, it's a little bit like olive oil in terms of the profile and the benefits of, for, the, for the heart and for the heart health and it's often labelled as vegetable oil rather than rapeseed oil. In the supermarket, the um, vegetable oil, you can see if you check the pack, it's got a little picture of the yellow flowers from the rapeseed. So we're adding the oil. Just mix it together. What we usually find with this recipe is that you need a little bit of extra water as well. I think it's quite dry with the wholemeal flour. So we're going to just add a little bit of water and just add a tiny bit at a time. You don't want to add too much, otherwise it can end up very sticky. Add a little bit more. So 
sometimes easier to um, to mix it with your hands rather than to use a fork or any other implement. This is now starting to come together. Just trying to get all the remaining flour and the remaining carrot into the mixture. So now we've got the dough in one ball. It's ready for kneading. So we need just a little bit more flour to use. We'll put a little bit of flour on the, on the surface. Try and keep all the all the pieces of carrot into the dough. So the recipe suggests that we need for 10 minutes. So really is it's important just to release the gluten and to make a smooth dough. So when you finish knead it, kneading the dough, you, you make a ball and we're going to wrap it in cream. Going to wrap the dough in cling film. Just going to put a little bit of oil on it. Just again, some more rapeseed oil. And we've wrapped the dough in cling film and we're going to leave it for an hour and then we'll come back and we'll roll it out and cut the chapatis. So now, once we've had an hour to prove, we're ready to roll out our chapatis. We're going to make four from this mixture, so just cut into four. Make a circle and then we've we'll, got a little bit of flour on the surface. We'll start to roll out. Want to try and get the get the mixture into fairly thin, and also to try and keep it into into a circle. Okay. I think this one looks good. So we've, got, uh, we've already got a hot pan here and we're going to dry fry the chapati. Just going to turn the heat up a little bit. Meanwhile, I can roll out the other one. 